Welcome to our electrical engineering YouTube channel. In this video, we will see an example on equivalent resistance. To download our electrical engineering app or MCQ or notes, you can visit this website link electrical-engineering.app. This app is especially designed for electrical and electronics engineering students and teachers. Question Find equivalent resistance between terminals A and B. Now here for this network we have to determine its equivalent resistance. Solution First of all we will take this network. Now what we will do? It is a basically a Wheatstone bridge. We will check whether it is balanced or not. So here we can see if we take 2 divided by 4. 2 divided by 4 then we get 1 by 2. And if we take this 8 divided by 10, so 8 divided by 10 is we get 4 by 5. So here 1 by 2 is not equal to 4 by 5. So hence the bridge is not balanced. Okay. So what we can do, we will use here star delta transformation or delta to star transformation. So here Let's assume this is node A or terminal A and this is let's say C and this is D. So what we what we will do? We will convert this delta into its equivalent star. So again it will become like this. Then this resistance will go like this. Now here let's assume this as Ra and this is Rc let's say and this is Rd because it is connected to this terminal. So first of all we have to find the value of Ra. So simply Ra will be equal to this resistance multiplied with this resistance. So it will be like this 4 multiplied with 2 divided by we have to take addition of all. So it will be 4 plus 2 plus 2 4 plus 2 plus 2 if we solve this we get 4 into 2 divided by 4 plus 2 plus 2 so it is simply 1 ohm now similarly we will find rc so rc is equal to this 2 into 2 divided by same denominator so 2 multiplied with 2 divided by 4 plus 2 plus 2 so here just we have to replace this 4 by 2. So it will be simply 0 0.5 ohm. Then finally Rd. So here Rd will be 2 into 4. So again 2 multiplied with 4 divided by same denominator 4 plus 2 plus 2. So here this is same that means we get 1 ohm. So now we can copy this network from here and we can paste it. Now since we are converting from delta to star, so we can erase these resistances. So finally our network will look like this. Now here in place of Ra, we can write 1 ohm. So let's write 1 ohm here. In place of Rd, we can write 1 ohm. So here also it will be 1 ohm. And in place of Rc, we can write 0 0.5 ohm. It will be 0 0.5 ohm. 
and we can erase this resistance too because we have converted this delta into star now here we can see we can easily simplify this network now these two are connected in series so this will be simply 8.5 ohm and this will be simply it will be 11 ohm now these two are connected in parallel and they are in series with this 1 ohm so finally R A B is equal to this 1 ohm and then these two are in parallel 8.5 and 11 so 8.5 into 11 divided by 8.5 plus 11 so let's solve this in calculator directly so 1 plus 8.5 multiplied with 11 divided by 8.5 plus 11 so it is basically 5.79 so 5.79 ohm is the answer for RAB so RAB is equal to 5.79 ohm so this is how we can solve these types of networks and this is the example based on star to delta conversion and since this bridge this Wheatstone bridge was not balanced that's why we have solved it like this so don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching